On Sunday, a U.S. Navy warship conducted a freedom of navigation operation in the South China Sea. An Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer, USS Preble, sailed within 12 nautical miles of Scarborough Shoal. The feature is claimed by China, the Philippines, and Taiwan. This was the second such operation in the month of May. In general, these operations are conducted once in two months. Trump administration has been very proactive regarding these operations and has been also working at diplomatic levels to draw the world's attention to China's continued militarization of the South China Sea, especially in the Spratly Islands. As per U.S. Navy 7th Fleet spokesman Lt. Joe Keeley, this operation challenge excessive maritime claims and preserve access to the waterways as governed by international law. The U.S. Navy has emphasized that these operations don't specifically target China. All operations are designed in accordance with international law and demonstrate that the United States will fly, sail, and operate wherever international law allows. Mr. Keeley further added that phone ops are not about one country, nor are they about making political statements. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why China should fear the presence of USS Preble in the South China Sea. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank or aircraft and three days of premium account. China's sweeping claims of sovereignty over the South China Sea have infuriated competing claimants Malaysia, Brunei, Taiwan, Indonesia, Vietnam, as well as the Philippines. Scarborough Shoal was the reason for a major standoff in 2012 between China and the Philippines. China managed to outmuscle the Philippines and currently exercises de facto control of the waters around Scarborough Shoal. Viewers may note that occupation of Scarborough Shoal had prompted Manila to file a case with a Hague-based tribunal in 2013. In 2016, the tribunal rejected China's assertion that it enjoys historical rights over a huge area of the South China Sea encompassed by a nine-dash line, which includes the Scarborough Shoal. China had argued that the tribunal had no jurisdiction in the matter and rejected the decision. Scarborough Shoal has been subjected to land reclamation activities by China, though no permanent artificial structures have been constructed. In recent times, China has taken many steps to beef up its military posturing in the South China Sea and has even resorted to corrosive tactics. In the first three months of 2019, the Philippine Armed Forces say they have observed 600 Chinese naval vessels circling Pagasa Island, which the Philippines claims as part of its territory. This freedom of navigation followed U.S.-Philippine joint maritime activities near Scarborough Shoal. USS Preble is an Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer of the U.S. Navy. Arleigh Burke-class warships were designed as multi-mission destroyers capable of anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, and anti-surface warfare ASUW. The class is named for Admiral Arleigh Burke, who was an American destroyer officer in World War II and went to be Chief of Naval Operations. U.S. Navy has 66 Arleigh Burke-class warships in active service, and USS Preble is the 38th destroyer of the class. She's named after Commodore Edward Preble, who served in the American Revolutionary War and was one of the early leaders of the U.S. Navy. It was built by Ingalls Shipbuilding and was commissioned on the 9th of November, 2002. USS Preble, being an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, is among the largest destroyers built in the United States. It has an overall length of 509 feet that's 155 meters, and a displacement of about 9,200 tons. USS Preble is powered by four General Electric LM2530 gas turbines producing 100,000 horsepower 75 megawatts, 
that drive two shafts. It has a speed of 30 plus knots, that's 55 plus kilometers per hour, and a range of 4,400 nautical miles, which is about 8,100 kilometers. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers DDGs, is the United States Navy's first class of destroyers built around the Aegis combat system. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is a United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency program developed to provide missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re-entry. It enables USS Preble to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the ANSPY-1 radar and standard missile technologies. Aegis BMD equipped vessels can transmit their target detection information to other systems and if needed engage potential threats using either the SM-2 or SM-3 missile. The heart of the Aegis systems on board the USS Preble is the ANSPY-1D radar. It's an advanced automatic detect and track multifunctional phased array radar. This high-powered 4 megawatt radar is able to perform search, track and missile guidance functions simultaneously with a capability of over 100 targets. A conventional mechanically rotating radar sees a target when the radar beam strikes that target once during each 360 degree rotation of the antenna. A separate tracking radar is then required to engage each target. By contrast, the computer controlled and SPY 1D phased array radar of the Aegis system brings these functions together within one system. The phased array can concentrate energy where it's needed. The operator can boost the range and resolution in a particular direction without blinding the ship to threats from another side. The four fixed arrays of SPY send out beams of electromagnetic energy in all directions simultaneously, continuously providing a search and tracking capability for hundreds of targets at the same time. USS Preble is very well equipped and is designed to be a multi-weapons platform. It has in total 90-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system VLS, divided into two blocks of 29 and 61 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on the mission. 1. BGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile for land attack. 2. RIM-66 Standard Missile 2 SM-2 surface-to-air missile for air defense. 3. RIM-161 Standard Missile 3 SM-3 for Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense. 4. RUM-139 VL ASROC missile for anti-submarine roll. 5. Each VLS cell can also be quad-packed with RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles ESSM. The ESSM is designed to protect ships from attacking missiles and aircraft. It also has two Mark 141 Harpoon missile launcher for anti-ship roll. Two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes are present launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 torpedoes. Two MH-60R Seahawk Lamps 3 helicopters are also present for anti-submarine warfare. Other than these, it's equipped with a long-range 5-inch naval gun. There are multiple short-range weapon systems, too, which include the Phalanx CIWS and M242 Bushmaster Cannon. The underlying issue of Chinese hegemony has always remained, but now the tensions between China and the Philippines seem to have peaked. Chinese eyes are now set on another island. On April 4th, events took a new turn when President Duterte stated, I'm trying to tell China Pegasa is ours, so let us be friends. Do not touch Pegasa Island and the rest. Otherwise, things would be different. He insisted that this is not a warning, this is just a word of advice to my friends because China is our friend. Mr. Duterte went on, I will not plead or beg, but I'm just telling you to lay off Pegasa because I have soldiers there. If you touch it, that's another story. Then I will tell my soldiers, prepare for suicide missions. In this situation, the presence of USS Preble will be a major boost to the Philippines. The weapons package carried by USS Preble makes it a deadly adversary for any rival, including the Chinese fleet. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this.
hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.